Hello everyone. This is Elegant Granny. I'm with the Inspiring Recovery Train. And today we are talking about the one word we would love to live by in 2019. Hello, how you doing? Um, up next, just in case I run over, we have a new person, Bubbly Crown the Line. Welcome. Hello, Edward. Hello, Kristen. Welcome to the group. Um, I'm going to give a little bit of backstory to how I got to the word for this year. <clears throat> Last year, my word was repair. And the reason why I focus on repairing last year was because I had a lot of traumatic experiences last year and I needed to do some repairing because um, I had literally gotten worn down. So, and I had let a lot of things and a lot of people um, go and so, because for my betterment and so that I could be more successful. And so people around me could be successful also. So I had to do that by my thought process. My thought process had to be the first thing I needed to, to work on. That That's the most essential thing you need for repairing. So after that, um, I started working on what, what my word on for this year is rebuild. Rebuilding um, is a little different from repairing and some people see it as the same. <clears throat> the contrast of the two for me is repairing is you have like um, a hole in the wall. You can just patch it up. Rebuilding is you can take down the whole wall and put it back up again. That's what I'm doing this year. So what I've done this year was I'm focusing on restructuring my business. So I'm rebuilding my business. I'm rebuilding my thoughts, um, more positive thoughts, as Edward was saying earlier. Um, being positive is a big thing for me this year also. So um, <clears throat> uh, I'm also going back to school. I have, I'm in my last semester for school. I have two classes to finish my master's in business. Um, I'm about to um, embark on a creative writing program, which is a two year program. I'm also um, embarking on going back into teaching. So I'm rebuilding my career with that as well. But this time, I'm going to do it. Um, hello from New York City. I'm going to do it. Um, thanks, Edward. I'm going to do it on a college level instead of pre-K and um, and grade school. I'm going to do it on the college level. So that's pretty much all I had to talk about today. Um, hello, Julie. Yes, lots of rebuilding. I'm doing a lot of that. I'm also. Um, rebuilding um i revamped how i'm exercising because i'm older you know almost senior citizen <laughs> um i'll be the big 5-0 next month and um so i'm restructuring how i'm doing my exercises to fit everything that i need to get done this year as i'm rebuilding because it takes a lot of energy and a lot of thought process um to do that. Thank you so much. Um, and I feel younger because of the way I've restructured how I exercise. Um, I used to hit the gym hard, real hard. Um, so instead of doing that, um, I transitioned into um, callous, more calisthenics and dancing. I'm doing a lot of dancing. And one of my new goals for exercise is to take up yoga. I would love to take up yoga and to get back into belly dancing. I'm already doing hula um, dancing. So um, another thing that I've done, done was um, restructured and I'm rebuilding my, um, what do you call it? My diet. Um, I've been vegetarian for many years and I am working on becoming completely plant-based. Um, so that's another thing that I'm working on right now. <clears throat> no, we're never old. 
I um I don't even believe in being old. My grandfather taught that to us when we were growing up. He said, you never get old, you get better. And a lot of people um, always ask me, you know, how old are you? And I'm like, well, I've been here 49 years. <laughs> I don't do the old thing. That's because, um, as Edward said, it, 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 it breaks into your positivity and, and you really don't realize how much words affect you until you start paying attention to what's going on in your life and you start extracting certain words and certain things and certain people from your lives. Then you see how they have affected you. Um, another reason why I'm working on rebuilding is so that I can get to the restoration stage. So, and that's one of the um, mantras for my business, repair, rebuild, and restore. And um, yes, everyone, please follow Bubbly Crowned Align. She is next after me. Let's welcome her with open arms. Please follow the um, Inspiring Recovery Perry Train. Um, the group on the Periscope and on Facebook, and they're also on Instagram. You can also follow me, Elegant Granny, here on Periscope. I'm Elegant Granny everywhere. Um, and that's pretty much all I had for you guys today. Love you guys. Oh, one more update. Um, Remember how I told you I lost my jump drive and had a lot of my books and poems and stuff on it? Well, I forgot about something that I remembered while I was in a residency at Randolph College with a lot of other writers. And I remembered to look through my Dropbox for one thing and I started finding all these other things that I had written and I had stored there. So I'm not at a great loss from my flash drive still not being found. I found so many poems. I found two books that I had been working on. I was so happy. So that's my last update, but let's all go and follow um, Bubbly Crowned Align. I'm so happy to see that she is here with us. Um, and I'm glad to see you all again. Thanks for dropping by. See you later.